My name is Erica Searle, and I live in Kentucky, home of Bluegrass, the birthplaces of both Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis, Churchill Downs, and the Kentucky Derby. But I grew up in eastern Montana, home of coyotes and cowboys. My father was a rancher who also happened to be a PhD mathematician, and often as we would work together, he would exhort us, use your physics. I remember at one point turning to him in some exasperation, saying, Dad, I don't know any physics. I was about 10 at the time. But what my father was trying to get us to see was that physics and the math that we use in studying it are a lot more than just numbers and equations on a piece of paper. They describe the real world that we live in, and applying those principles to our thinking can save us a lot of trouble. I grew up to go on and study a lot of math and science myself, working some in the field, as well as doing a lot of teaching and tutoring as I homeschooled my own five children, moving around the country with my now medically retired Army chaplain husband. Currently, as well as teach for Veritas and homeschool the children that I still have at home, I coach debate and I teach history. I am especially enjoying digging deeper into the history of science and seeing the human endeavor that has brought us to where we are today. It is amazing. We can do incredible things with God's creation. But one thing we see all along the way is that our understanding has been flawed and incomplete. It still is. As a teacher, I want my students to be excellent in the use of the mathematical tools necessary to do good science, and we will work very hard to make that happen. I also want them to be making those connections between what they're seeing on paper and the physical world that we live in. That's one of the reasons I especially love physics. Through demonstrations and labs, we can take our equations out and try them in the real world. We can make predictions. We can see how they describe what we are actually seeing. And we can also expose many of those areas where we still are ignorant. I am thrilled when my students excel and go on to prestigious universities or military service academies and feel well prepared. I am equally thrilled when we come to the end of the year and a student says, I was dreading taking physics and didn't think I'd like it at all, but it's been pretty good. Or a parent tells me that their not-so-math-inclined student has been telling everyone about something that they learned in physics. The one thing that I want for all of my students is to grow in their love for and appreciation of our great God who made all this and upholds it by his powerful hand. You, O oh Lord, laid the foundation of the earth in the beginning. The heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish but you remain. Like a garment, they will wear out. Like a robe, you will roll them up. Like a garment, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. There is work to do. We have much to learn from those who came before us so that we can go even deeper into our understanding of our great God and his creation, so that we can worship him better, and also so that we can help others. Physics, math, and the other sciences are not just for students who are going to be pursuing a career in STEM. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. I look forward to studying and delighting with you and your children.